welcome to 49ers in 5, your daily update on everything happening with the team that you need to know. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. Today is Tuesday, December 5th, 2023. Here's what's happening with your San Francisco 49ers. Yesterday was Kyle Shanahan's day after game conference call. There was a couple little nuggets I want you to hear. But first, we start, as we always do, with the injury report. A couple names on here that may be worth monitoring during the week. First up, Eric Armstead has knee and foot issues. Kyle didn't give a specific length of time on how long Armstead will miss or even if he will miss time. He said they were, quote, still gathering information. So I want to keep an eye on that for Wednesday. But that would be a big loss because Armstead has been fantastic, including yesterday against the Eagles, or I should say Sunday. Ross Dwelly has a high ankle sprain. He's going to miss some time, the dreaded high ankle sprain. Spencer Burford's other knee is now acting up. Again, no timelines on any of these guys just yet. Darrell Luter Jr., actually, maybe the only one. He's going to be out next week. He's got a hamstring injury. And finally, Ray Ray McLeod, who, of course, missed Sunday, is still day to day. So injuries. I don't want to say they're piling up, but some names to definitely pay attention to as we move forward. So I mentioned Ross Dwelly going to miss some time. Kyle, does that mean the Niners are going to maybe make a move and bring in Zach Ertz, who's a free agent? I know John looks into all that stuff. Uh, I haven't heard anything about it now, so I want to think so at this time. Um, but I have a lot of respect for him as a player. I've always been a fan. Um, but right, right now, at least from our, my standpoint, we're good with our group, but you know, we have injuries and things change. So we'll look in all options as always. The key part of that quote is Kyle says he's always liked him. That seems to be the big determining factor as to whether or not the Niners pursue a guy. Kyle likes him. John Lynch will pick up the phone. And I could get behind that. Ertz as a backup at this point in his career, I think that's where he belongs. The Niners have been looking for a backup tight end for a long time. But if they don't go that route, I'd kind of be a little interested to see Braden Willis back there, right? I mean, the Niners drafted two tight ends this year for a reason. Maybe get him in there. Let's see what he can do. I don't know. I'm just saying it wouldn't be the end of the world if Ertz doesn't end up in San Francisco. More from Kyle Shanahan now. After the game on Sunday, Nick Bosa said he's never been more confident in the offensive side of the ball for the Niners. Kind of a surprising comment from him. Kyle, what's your reaction to Nick Bosa's comment? I think that started last year. I think you guys could see once we got on that roll. Um, the way we went into the playoffs last year, the way we did in the playoffs too, um, that things were a little bit different. And, um, you know, getting Christian and how well Brock played and just the, our receivers, our O-line, our tight ends, how long they played together. And I, I think we all felt that last year. And so we're excited to get Brock back and get him healthy in the offseason. And I feel like it started out that way too earlier in this year. So I just feel we, we got a special group of guys who um, continue to work hard and hold each other accountable and everything. And, I think they've been doing a hell of a job for a little bit now. Sunday's game was the eighth time this season the 49ers have scored at least 30 points in a game. How could you not feel confidence in this offense at this point in time? They are flat out destroying people. We always give you one thing to read, one thing to watch, and one thing you might have missed. One thing to read on this Tuesday. If you've got people telling you that Brock Purdy's not the MVP because of how many of his yards come after the catch or everybody that's around him or his prey caller, pay them no mind. Go read the article that Mike Sando just wrote in The Athletic. I put a link in the description. It completely eviscerates all of those arguments against Brock Purdy for the MVP. It is all the ammunition you need to go crush some fools who dare doubt Brock Purdy for MVP in 2023. One thing you should watch, JT O'Sullivan is at it again. His quarterback breakdowns are fantastic. He broke down Purdy's performance against the Eagles, but he also threw a couple of other little things in there, little tidbits that the Niners did on offense, particularly one play from Christian McCaffrey at the end of the video, at the end of the game, that is going to get no love from anybody else. But it was a great point by JT. Just another reason to love number 23 for the Niners. One thing you may have missed, I'm sure you didn't miss the interaction between Dre Greenlaw and the Eagles' head of security, Dom DeSandro, during the game. But according to Adam Schefter, the NFL is reviewing the incident. They're expected to follow up with the Eagles this week. We don't know what 
the results of that review were going to be, but clearly it's not quite over yet. I think there has to be some kind of penalty because otherwise you are incentivizing other teams to have guys on the sideline to try and instigate reactions from opposing players and maybe get a penalty or maybe get them tossed. So it'll be interesting to see how the league handles it. Of course, when news comes down, we will obviously have a reaction and bring it to you. That's a wrap on today's 49ers and five. Please rate review and follow the gold standard podcast network. Stay tuned for the bully ball podcast. Steph Sanchez, Jason Aponte, 11 a.m. Eastern time, 8 a.m. Pacific time. They got all sorts of smoke coming for Eagles fans. So if you want to gloat a little bit about the win, you are going to want to join for that show or watch it afterwards or download the podcast wherever you get your podcast. I promise you it will put a smile on your face. I'm Rob Stats Guerrera. We'll talk later today.